Hi everyone, this is Ramya from Tekkeju Master near MYC Medical College, Kalanjeri. So today I am here in order to give you some information regarding the audience in OET writing. To whom we are writing letters? As a nurse to who all people you will be writing letters to? There are mainly four categories. The first one is that as a nurse you will be writing letters to nurses itself. Or else you will be writing letters to doctors. Another thing is like you will be writing letters to uh, different health care professionals and the last category is like you will be writing letters to non health professionals. Okay. So now let's see uh, which are the type of nurses to whom you are going to write letters. The first one is that you will be writing letters to community health nurse. Okay. The second type of nurse to whom you are writing letters is district nurses. The third category of nurses is like you will be writing letters to specialist nurses. So specialist nurses means what? The nurse which will be handling a special category of people. Okay, for example, the nurse can be a cardiac nurse, cardiac specialist nurse, or else it can be a nurse who is working in accident and emergency. Sometimes it can be a renal specialist nurse. Sometimes it can be orthopedic nurse or something like that. Psychologist nurse, psychologist like um, uh, those people who are dealing with the psychiatric nurse uh, patients, and uh, sometimes it can be gynecology. Okay, so different departments, specialization can be different. Okay, so the thing what you have to take care when you are writing letters to nurses that the use of abbreviations. So not all abbreviations are common for nurses or they may not be aware about every abbreviation. So for that what you have to do is that uh, for example when you are writing about intrauterine device. Okay, so IUD when you are writing for the first time you can just write it in the elaborated form and what else you can do is like you can just put a, put a comma and you can write the short form over there. Okay. Another thing is like sometimes the nurses may not be able to understand uh, about uh, every abbreviation. For example, AF, arterial fibrillation. So sometimes the nurse may not be understand, may not be able to understand what is that. Okay, so in such situations, it's always better to go for elaborated form. Okay, don't go for short forms. But for a nurse, ADL is understood. Okay. Another thing is like another type of uh, people to whom you are writing letters is doctors. Doctors will also vary. Okay, to different doctors you will be writing. Sometimes it can be a psychiatrist, an oncologist or uh, sometimes orthopedician or uh, sometimes even to a general a GP. Okay, a non-case or uh, to a local GP or else to the patient's GP or sometimes you will be writing to a family doctor. It depends. Okay. The third category of people you are writing letters to is about uh, other health care professionals like a physiotherapist, occupational therapist or sometimes you will be writing letters to music therapist, to speech therapist or else uh, sometimes you will be writing letters to dietitian. Okay. So these are the people to whom you will be writing letters and the last category is non-health professionals like a social worker or uh, sometimes the department head of like uh, sometimes the person can be uh, you will be writing letter to an uh, like uh, immigration department head or else uh, to the director of uh, veteran affairs okay so these people are non-health professionals okay so to these people you will be writing letters so i hope that is understood as a nurse you will be writing letters to these many peoples okay so why i'm saying this one is that the style of writing and the organization of writing will depends upon to whom you are writing letters to okay so i hope the video is clear thank you